So this is a two building complex. I'm currently in the cellar of one of the building, the higher one, the older looking building. And then there's a bridge going over to the other building. And this other building, it looks quite historical. It looks quite interesting. I have no idea what this place is, but let's find out. Let's take a listen. Maybe someone else is already here or something. Okay, I don't hear anything unusual. Could be that there are some homeless people in here or something. Oh, that looks a bit vandalized. An empty room. Heating. Oh, it's also for heating. This looks like the fire alarm system. Hey, bathroom. Tech room. Electrotech. Ooh. Someone cut all the cables. We got some network switches here. This is for power. No idea what this is for. Ooh, that looks interesting. Quite colorful. Yeah, I suppose this is just typical cellar stuff. This looks like water damage here. Okay, let's go up. That's a good hiding place. Ooh. Have to be careful. Right over there is a public street. There are cars driving by and also people walking. Yeah, so far, no clue what this place could have been. It's all pretty... stripped down, no hints. Huh, I first thought it was like decoration, but now I'm seeing this is actually graffiti. So I'm not the first person exploring this place. Well, this looks like the main entrance. There are people walking outside. Okay, the people.
people passed. This made is a giant safe. Wow. Wow, this is so cool. So, this building used to be a bank, probably. I'm inside a freaking bank safe and these are all deposit boxes or maybe someone forgot his stuff in here now this is maybe how a bank robber would feel Room entrance camera unit. This seems like you could open the save from the inside just by a press of a button. And this is like the police emergency button in case someone robs us back for real. Oh, wow. That's a lot of keys. Oh, for the deposit boxes, right? Look how they look so beautiful. Oh, and we got some water down here. That's a pump, but of course it doesn't have power. There are just more deposit boxes down here. But they look different. They look more ancient. Maybe we can get to it. Whoa. Ooh. There's some dirty stuff in the water. It's like bluish, greenish, maybe some oil. Or I don't know. But you see, these deposit boxes look different. So, these could be the rooms where you would go with your deposit box and open it in private. Hmm. 2018, not that old. Ooh, we got another safe door here. Okay, this is weird. This kind of looks like someone wrote the combination on this strap. Maybe this is where they kept the gold. Let's go up and try to find that bridge to the other building. Ah oh yes, there it is. Now this is going to be a bit tricky. First of all, I've just seen a camera in that corner over there. I need to assume that this is active. And I'm gonna crawl on the floor across the bridge so that people that are walking by down there won't see me. I might be out of view here right at the wall. Let's hope it is open. Yes, it is. Oh, 
Oh, so this kind of seems to be a sensor for the door. I oh, know that's for the heating. Let's look for cameras in the corners. Okay. Information. Recommendations for campers. Okay. There's a typo. Oh, that's a menu. Monday, steak with potatoes. Tuesday, eggs with potatoes. Oh, the prices they are in uh, Denmark. That's an old German currency. Whoa! You know what this is? This is a paternoster. This is awesome. Like an old kind of elevator. Which goes into the loop. On one side it goes all the way up. Kind of goes around and down again on the other side. And you can travel in the loop. That's super fun. But they are super rare. At least in Germany. Ah, oh, this seems to be the entrance hall of the other building. And this is where the guard was sitting. And now it's me sitting here. Nice. Oh, that's a microphone. Hello, hello. To all employees, please stop your work, stop whatever you're doing, and just go outside, enjoy the sun, and hang out, okay? Over and out. Whoa, damn. Look at all the keys. Holy shit. Wow. What do you need all the keys for? Like, how many doors does this building have? Side room, kitchen, fifth level, alarm box, tech room, education room, green box in the cafeteria. Ooh, that sounds kind of mysterious. It seems like all the keys on the right side are for this older building. And then all the keys on the left are for the new building on the other side. Burglar alarm. Okay, this is how a burglar alarm center looks like. I got an. You see this? I got an antenna on the side. Let's see what it's connected to. To the back. Hmm. Maybe it's still working. Ooh. Some tech here. What is this? It looks kind of old. Oh, we got a battery here. It's still connected, so. This kind of looks like you could control a camera with this. Got a nice little joystick here. There seems to be something growing in the display. Oh, pretty dusty. Oh, not very well maintained. Windows XP. Okay. This thing is ancient. Oh, look, this is for the pump in uh, the safe down there where the water was. You can control the doors, the emergency exits, the garage gate, and also um, the lights. 
We get some RAM here. 256 megabytes. Whoa, that's a hard drive. You really shouldn't leave a hard drive with a bank behind. We get an info book here. Let's see what's the nearest entry here. 2009, 2012. Yeah, 2016. End of year 2016. Some more keys. Lots. Oh, we got some key cards. Yeah, that's a key card. Oh, but it kind of seems to be valid only until year 1979. It looks kind of new. This is weird. More keys. Is this another? No. USB floppy drive. Wow. CPU is missing, RAM is missing. Maybe someone stole it. It didn't empty the trash before they left. That's not good practice. We got some old school memes here. And a Brinkman top line high definition TV. Toilet paper. And we got some more RAM lying around for whatever reason. And a nice little cute kitchen. Oh, they didn't even wash the dishes. Get some cappuccino. Huh. It's kind of like a rock. It's so cool that there's so much stuff still lying around. More or less untouched. Pretty cool. I hope it stays this way. That no one is taking anything away. It just leaves it here. Ooh, some dirty toilet. Ooh, we got another safe. Nice. Oh, it looks a bit older also. Let's see what's inside. Oh wow, this is an airtight seal. But yeah, pretty empty here. It's kind of creepy. It's so silent down here. <laughs> And this ladder or staircase or whatever looks kind of interesting. Holy shit, did you hear that? I just heard someone yelling. And it sounded pretty close. Yep, I'm hearing voices. Oh shit. I'm inside here. So, five hours later, what happened? So I went down into the safe of the other building, right? And then suddenly I heard someone shouting and it sounded pretty close, like as if it was someone inside the building. 
but I wasn't sure. It could have also been just a random person just walking outside and shouting, like some drunken people or something. But then I heard more voices, and this time they sounded even closer. And I was pretty sure there were people inside the building. I just thought, okay, let's hide. So there was this ladder or staircase, and it kind of looked like it would go into an attic. So I thought, okay, maybe there's a good hiding spot up there. So I just went up. Uh, it turns out this ladder was meant as an emergency exit outside the safe. So when I went up, I ended up in a little hallway. And this hallway led to another room. And outside the window, I could see a police car parking on the street. This hiding spot was action, wasn't actually that great because the way um, outside to the room was blocked by a gate and that gate was closed. So I was stuck in a dead end. And theoretically, people could come from both sides, from the room and see me through the gate or from below, going up the stairs. So yeah, but it was too late for changing hiding spots. I already heard people coming. Unfortunately, I don't have that on camera because I took out my SD card and hid it inside my sock because unfortunately I also got other footage on that SD card and I didn't want whoever would catch me to see that other footage of other adventures. But soon people came and they came down into the safe, walked up to that ladder and they pointed with the flashlight up the ladder. I could see their light. <laughs> And at that moment I thought, okay, that's it, they got me, I'm, I'm stuck in the dead end, I have nowhere to go, they definitely got me. But then that guy said, okay, this is just a way leading up, and then they continued. They didn't even bother to look up, they just shined the flashlight up and then walked away. Man, I was so lucky that they just walked away, so damn lucky, but... It's not over yet, because these weren't the only two people inside that building. I'm not sure how many, but I heard like voices and like footsteps all over from the building, like from below, from the sides, from above. Like I really felt surrounded by people. If I need to guess, I would say at least six people. I would guess maybe eight, so two police cars, four people in each car maybe. I heard them um, yelling all over the place. Again, I'm not sure what they were saying, but I would guess it's something like police come out. That's my guess. It was pretty tough to determine how close they were. I constantly was sure that at the next moment someone would show up around the corner. Fortunately, that didn't happen. It seemed like they searched the whole building, but didn't look at the place I was hiding. So again, super lucky. My strategy basically was just to wait it out. Just lay as low as possible. Yeah, and I ended up like waiting over three hours there. Then I messaged a friend of mine to come to the place and just check the surroundings to see if they are maybe waiting outside for me. Yeah, my friend didn't see anything. He also checked the exit, but they didn't uh, close my exit. And everything seemed fine. So thank you, my friend. So I buckled up went down the stairs and yeah that's the whole story now I'm here I'm in some nice park and just enjoying my tea yeah I'm sorry I couldn't show you what's happened only tell you so I hope that's enough I wish you a good night or whatever good day good morning uh, see you next time